Hi, welcome to the video tutorial Java RESTful Web Services Cloud API. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to develop a RESTful Web Services API for a cloud operations. Create, retrieve, update, and delete for a Java web application running on Apache Tomcat server using Zozi REST framework. Throughout this uh, tutorial, you will learn how to uh, develop a Java web application running on uh, Apache Tomcat server and use the Zozi REST framework to host uh, RESTful web services uh, and you will learn to uh, develop a RESTful web services API for exposing uh, CRUD uh, operations to uh, the clients create, uh, rechip, update, and delete and as you can see a restful web service can uh, consume uh, the restful cloud API via HTTP methods for example HTTP TV post uh, for create uh, operation uh, HTTP get for rechip of uh, operation HTTP put for update operation and HTTP delete method for delete operations. So in this um, tutorial, uh, I will allow you to uh, code uh, RESTful Web Services API for CRUD operation first. It is a Java web application uh, project, and then I will allow you how to test the RESTful CRUD uh, API uh, using CUL program as well as coding a RESTful web service client program in Java using the Z client API. To follow this tutorial, make sure that you have the following software programs installed on the computer. Java uh, Development Kit. I use the uh, Java Development Kit JDK version 11. Eclipse IDE version uh, 2019 September and uh, Apache Tomcat Server 9.0 and uh, CUIL, uh, a command line to program for testing your RESTful web service API. If you are running uh, Windows 10, then uh, CUIL is uh, already uh, shipped with the operating system. If you are running Windows 7, you need to uh, download and install CUIL program. And let's uh, review the key technologies which are used in the project. Uh, we are going to code. First is uh, just uh, as, uh, Java API for RESTful web services. Uh, this is uh, a specification um, for implementing uh, RESTful web services in uh, Java programming languages and Zozi is an open source REST framework for building RESTful web services application Zozi is uh, an implementation of uh, Last IS and uh, within uh, Zozi REST framework we use Zozi service container to host uh, RESTful web services on server on a subject container and we use uh, Zozi client API to code a uh, RESTful web service client program and we use uh, Zozi transaction API to serialize Java objects uh, to JSON and vice versa. This class diagram helps you understand uh, the code uh, we will write first uh, is a uh, domain model class a product uh, that represents a product with ID, name, and price. And in the DAO layer, we need to have a product DAO class that implements uh, CRUD operations uh, to manage products, list of products, add a product, add a product, update, delete product. And in the REST web service layer, we Mm, code the product results class to expose uh, CRUD API 
list add, add, uh, update and uh, delete so um, we will uh, code the uh, three in the back classes like this and here are the step uh, which uh, we need to follow in this tutorial first create a java dynamic web project and then in this project we configure uh, dependencies to use the z rest framework and we need to configure the z subject container to expose restful web service uh, API and then we call the domain model class code the DAO class and code the restful web services class and finally code the restful web service C client program this is Eclipse IDE on my computer now let's uh, create a new Java dynamic web project dynamic web project here enter the project name as uh, for example my website next next and check this option to generate the web SMM development descriptor file finish here we go the my website project was created here and then we convert this project to maven and I click um, configure convert to maven project and enter the group es in net.codejava not up the rest finish and you see our Java dynamic web project is now based on maven and you can see a maven form not xml file open here and uh, we need to uh, configure uh, the dependency for using uh, the z rest framework dependencies the first de dependency is for the z container submit so enter the your group ID is org dot lastfish dot dot containers and artifact ID is jersey uh, hyphen container hyphen submit and version is uh, two point twenty nine point one which is the uh, latest version uh, when I'm recording this uh, video tutorial and uh, the second dependency is for the the Z injection uh, API dependency group ID is org dot uh, dot uh, not inject and uh, artifact ID is the uh, z hyphen sk2 version is the same version as the z container subject. Okay, save the file and you will see Maven uh, automatically uh, downloads uh, the z files required by the uh, z container submit and the uh, z uh, inject as you can see there are several other files here and the third uh, dependency we need to add is for transaction json library dependency your group id is org dot rasfist not jersey not media and artifact id is uh, jersey hyphen media hyphen the sun hyphen jackson and use the same version 2.29.1 okay save the file
and you can see transaction uh, API Java files not uh, downloaded here. Okay, so uh, to use the REST framework to expose uh, RESTful uh, web services API, we need to use this uh, three uh, dependencies. Uh, and uh, this uh, dependencies work well on uh, both ZDK version 8 or newer ZDK 11. So far, we have created uh, the one and another project and configure dependencies for the Z uh, framework. And next, uh, we will configure the Z service container to handle requests uh, for RESTful web services. So, in the project, open the web development descriptor file here under web content and the web inf web .xml file here. And we need to specify uh, to declare uh, the configuration for the Z container sublet. So we use a sublet uh, XML here. And sublet name is the Z REST service. And uh, Submit class is uh, org dot class uh, fish dot uh, dot um, submit dot uh, submit uh, container and uh, we need to specify initialization parameter uh, that uh, indicates that tells the z uh, the uh, package is uh, containing uh, Java classes uh, which are RESTful Web Service API. So we use init uh, param. Parameter name is uh, the g dot config dot server dot provider dot packages and uh, param value is uh, our uh, Java package. The name that contains uh, Java classes uh, to expose RESTful Web Service API. Here I use package name net.codejava.rest and uh, specify the load on start startup priority value is 1. And then we need to uh, specify the split mapping. For the Z West service submit mapping, copy the submit name here. And specify the UIL pattern is forward slash rest forward slash S direct. So all the requests coming to this web application that starts with uh, for start rest uh, will be handled uh, by the Z uh, container submit. Okay, so that's for the configuration of the Z submit container. And now let's code the domain model class uh, and product uh, here. Let me see with uh, three fields uh, ID name and uh, price so create a new java package here new package package name is net.codejava.ws finish yeah and create a new java class the class name is product finished this is a class product that 
uh, represents a product. Okay. The first uh, field is ID. The second field is name. And the third field is price. And we generate the contractors and getter and setter methods for this uh, very simple domain model class. So I click here, so generate uh, contractors from uh, super class. Generate and uh, generate contractor using fields. Yeah. Check all the fields, ID, name, and price. And generate. Okay. And uh, generate letters and setters. Generate letters and setters. Yeah. For all the fields. So select all here. Generate. Okay. We format the code. And we also need to generate uh, equals and has cost methods for this class. So generate has cost and equals. Uh, we choose only the um, ID few to be used in the equals and has cost method. Okay, click generate. Okay, save the file. So that's very simple. And uh, next, uh, last uh, code uh, the product uh, DIL class to implement the uh, CRUD uh, operations. So create a new uh, Java class here. Product DIO finished. And for the sake of uh, simplicity, I don't use any uh, database. Uh, instead, I will use a array list to store um, products. So we can focus on coding the RESTful web services API. Not on the database stuff. So in this, uh, I have a, a list of uh, product here. List product data equal new array list. Import array list. Sorry, we used the list class. List from the package java.at. And we initialize this uh, uh, data with uh, two products. Data add. Sorry, we need to uh, declare this data as uh, static and new product ID one names iPhone ten iPhone X price and I and dot ninety nine point ninety nine dot USD. And the second product, I need to name Xbox 360, right? Is 
Okay, and let's make this last add a singleton with a static uh, factory method to get an instance from this class. Uh, we need to declare a static instance of this class first. Static product DL instance. And we need to make the default constructor private, the no argument constructor private, and a static method to get instance of this class get instance get instance is no we create a new product DAO object instant equal new product DAO and finally returns the instance okay and the first method we implement is a list of method that returns all the products all the items public list Product list all and return a new copy of the uh, original data array list product data. Okay, and the second method is uh, for uh, adding a new product. public int this method we return the id of the newly uh, added uh, product add product the id of the new product uh, will be the size of the list uh, plus one and set the new ID for the product object, set ID, new ID, and add the uh, product object to the list data, and finally uh, return the new ID. So that's very simple. And the third um, method is for Writing a specific product based on uh, each ID. Public product and parameter is ID. Mm. Uh, we need to create a new product uh, object to file in the list a new product with only ID. So we need to uh, create uh, an overload contractor that uh, takes only ID in the product class here. Only ID. Okay. And the product the class here new product id and we find the index of the of, of, uh, an object with the same id in the list data in index equal data index of product to find so this method uh, we return the index of the first uh, element in the list in the file with the same uh, product ID. Yeah, because as you can see in the equals and has cost method of the product class here, we use the uh, ID. Use ID view of the object for comparison 
as you can see here id and uh, id here you see so if index is greater than or uh, equal to zero we return the element at uh, that index return uh, later right? index else return null okay so that's for the red uh, retrieval operation and then uh, next is for update uh, updating an a specific product uh, public boolean update product product first we need to find the index of the product in the list data index of product if found then we update if index greater than or equal to zero meaning uh, some object is found in the list and we update data set index and element is a product and return true to indicate that the um, product was updated yeah, or else return false okay so that's for the update method and finally for the delete operation public mm, boolean delete delete a specific product based on id we also need to find the index of the product so copy copy this if uh, the product with the same id file in the list data we remove data not remove index uh, and then we return return true else we return false okay so that's for the code of the product uh, DIO class uh, which has uh, uh, dummy data in a uh, list with initially uh, two products so it is very simple I don't use uh, actual database for the sake of uh, simplicity and because in this tutorial we focus on the RESTful web service API so far we have done coding the DL class and next, uh, let's go uh, the RESTful web services class uh, which is a, a product resource class here create a new Zama class here Product results finished, and the first uh, API we need to uh, expose uh, to the client is for the retrieval operation to list all items. Uh, for this uh, API, the HTTP method is get and the uh, UI for the 
uh, where so this is is uh, like this you see is the first last rest for work products after the web application uh, contact route and uh, the response sent to the client in the JSON format the information about all items or products okay let's write code for the product results class and first we need to use the path uh, annotation path annotation and specify a relative URL is uh, product so you see uh, this relative uh, URL for what's last uh, product uh, will be append uh, after the rest part here to form the complete UI uh, of this uh, RESTful uh, rest service API and we need to have uh, an instance of the product DAO class private product DAO DAO equal um, product DAO web instance and uh, the first method uh, API list product uh, list this method returns a list of product so very simple we call uh, the list of method of the product DAO class and to expose this method as a restful or service API we use a red annotation uh, to indicate that this method we handle HTTP web request and we specify the um, risk on uh, content type using this uh, produce annotation uh, media type is uh, application the sun okay so that is that's, uh, very simple now we can use the uh, CUL program to test uh, our First uh, method of the restful web services. So uh, in Eclipse, open the terminal view. So view terminal mm, as a terminal here. Yeah. Open. We have uh, terminal. View here and click this uh, add button to add a new or local terminal. Okay, okay, so as you can see, we have the local terminal which is command uh, prompt in your Windows operating system here. Now you see URL. So if you don't have see URL program, you need to download and install it. Mm. So to test our uh, RESTful web service API to list all the items, we can type see URL um, followed by the UI of the Oh, rest web services http localhost and uh, my website is our web application name uh, rest and uh, product we want an error fail to connect to localhost on port 80 uh, because we uh, haven't uh, deployed the uh, uh, web application on the uh, server yet so click here to create a new server choose Tomcat version 
list and choose my website add to um, deploy on Apache Tomcat and finish and now I'll start the server sorry I mistakenly clicked the debug button no problem ok the server is uh, up and running and you can see it um, listening on the port uh, uh, 80 here yeah. ok and you see our terminal window and now uh, tie the command again and you see it uh, returns responses from server in JSON format uh, which uh, contains the information for two products iPhone X and uh, Xbox 360 you see very good right that means our RESTful Watch Service API is deployed and uh, uh, serving a client very well as you can see in the product year class we have the initial data with two products here you see and in uh, respond in JSON format here so far so good right next let's implement the RESTful API method for the create operation or adding a new item, new product and the client must uh, uh, invoke the API via HTTP POST method and this is a UI CMS uh, listing of products and the client must uh, send product information in JSON format and the server response is uh, HTTP status 201 uh, that means a resource created and includes uh, the UI of the newly uh, created uh, product and you can see the ID of the newly created product is appended uh, to the end of the UI here now You see uh, post and uh, we use a uh, consumes annotation to specify the uh, content type uh, must be supplied by the client media type dot application JSON. And this uh, method uh, return a response or object and parameter is product. And we call the DL method uh, add product. And this method returns a newly um, created product ID in new product ID and we create an UI to include in the response UI of the newly created product uh, which is uh, Relative to the uh, art uh, you specify here, you see. So, sorry, relative to the web applications context code products, was last uh, plus new product ID, and we return a new response uh, created with the UI and view so that's uh, for 
create an uh, operation, a RESTful uh, web service API, hetero declarations. Okay, save the file and wait for the um, terminate and uh, we start the server in normal mode, not debug mode. Okay, now we can test uh, the add method in the RESTful web service. Okay, we use CURL. So CURL, uh, we need to specify the um, method, HTTP method post and uh, header to specify the content type sent to the server is you know, JSON application JSON and uh, the data is in a JSON format Name of the product is uh, for example, the name of the product is uh, I put and the price is uh, price is one hundred and ninety nine. By twenty nine dollar, and the UI of the restaurant web service local host my website and products. So, this is a syntax of C UI program to send a post request to the server to uh, add a new product and the We got a uh, stated four oh four error not found. Um, sorry, my mistake. I have mistakenly typed the uh, UI. No problem. The UI here. My website was the last best, was the last products. You see, uh, that means uh, the request has been sent successfully, and we can check by um, calling the um, List API, local host, my website, REST products. And you can see the new product. I put uh, what uh, appear here ID3, name I put, price uh, 199.29 here. Very good, right? And uh, can uh, run the post command again using the uh, V flag to see the verbose output. Okay, so I run the CL command again to um, add another product. Yeah, the name of the Next product is um, uh, 
for example MacBook MacBook price is uh, one thousand dollar and specify the V flag here so you can see uh, the response from server here you can see the uh, server response with uh, HTTP status 201 uh, which means uh, the resource uh, was created and you can see uh, the server return the location yeah you can see which is the UI of the newly created product but it should have the website context root and the rest part here okay so let's Mm, we find here yeah. this should be uh, my website was last no rest slash products okay next last in the main uh, uh, restful API method for the retriever operation to get an item, get an product, the client uh, must uh, use HTTP REST uh, method in the uh, uh, UI, uh, the UI of the uh, web service uh, includes the ID of the product and the server return a response like this if the product file uh, return HTTP uh, 200 status and they send the format uh, for the product information and or the if the product not file return HTTP 404 error 404 status now let's write code Uh, we use a red annotation and uh, add um, to specify place uh, order uh, for the ID value at the end of the part. And meta name public response get user part para to indicate to convert the value of the parameter to the variable here. We got an error. It seems that we have an error here. Let me see. Int ID. Return no for now. Okay. And we call the DL method get that returns a product object product equal DIO get ID and we check if 
the product of is file or the product object is not no we return http status 200 return a response okay use a okay method uh, that has two um, parameters entity and media tie here entity is a product object and tie is a media type uh, application as a sun and finally build the response okay and uh, else or else uh, the product is not far we return uh, http uh, status uh, 404 respond status respond dot status not far not far here and view the response okay so that's for the red method that returns the information of a specific product based on id and remember that uh, we uh, use uh, the path uh, with a parameter id here use the past param annotation here to capture the value of the um, id in the ui Okay, now we can uh, test. Uh, we can test the get method in the browser. This is my you know, Chrome browser, and uh, I type the URL is HTTP uh, localhost my website rest product, and followed by the ID of product. Now I use this UI to list all the products you see there are mm, two products here id1 id2 and then now i get the details of product id1 and you can see it returns the sun format for the product id1 iphone x very good right now we can uh, uh, test using cll in a uh, terminal view here CUIL HTTP localhost host slash my website host slash rest host slash product and now I want to add the product ID2 you can see ID2 is uh, the product Xbox 360 you can use the V flag here to so the details of the uh, request headers and response header and you can see is a response header here uh, content type application json status to uh, oh, oh. and now um, let's try to um, uh, test uh, with uh, ID does not exist uh, for for example and you can see the server return uh, uh, HTTP status uh, for, for here very good right let's test in a browser for example I want to get product ID 10 which does not exist so the server return uh, state HTTP status for for very good right and next, let's implement uh, uh, code for the RESTful API method uh, for the update operation to update the uh, product. The client must uh, send 
request in via HTTP put method and this is a UI of the request uh, note that uh, with uh, ID of the product to be updated at the end and the client must run send the data in JSON format and the server return response uh, HTTP uh, 200 in case uh, the product has been uh, updated successfully or returns HTTP stated uh, 304 not modified if the product not found. Now let's write code. So this method uh, use the HTTP put uh, method and consumes uh, application JSON data type application JSON and part ID public response update and we use uh, part param to capture the value of the parameter in the UI ID integer ID and product uh, is a product object uh, which is uh, serialized in, from the sun data sent from the clan and first we need to set id for the product set id and then we call the dao uh, class method uh, update product if true uh, that means the product has been updated successfully we return uh, http respawn ok respawn ok view uh, else uh, that means the product uh, was not found so we return um, response not modify view okay so that was a uh, update method wait for the server to reload the changes Okay, and now we can test uh, using a C UIL program. Uh, let's see on the server we have um, two products, and now I want to update the product ID one iPhone X. So try this command C UIL. V for verbals and X for the HTTP method put and H for the request and header content type application for visualization and uh, data is in a JSON format in Windows operating system I have to use a power slash to escape the double quotes character name of the product is uh, iPhone for example iPhone 11 and uh, price is uh, price is uh, one thousand and one hundred point ninety nine. This is the data, and then 
finally is a UI HTTP localhost my website rest products and the ID of the product needs uh, to be updated one and enter mm -hmm. we got an error here my mistake I'm missing a my was last year. Okay. You can see the response from the uh, server the HTTP status two oh oh. That means the product has been updated and now we can verify by running this command and you can see the uh, Burak ID1 name updated to iPhone uh, 11 here and price updated to 1100.99 USD here very good right and let's implement the last phone I method for delete operation to delete a product the client must send request in HTTP delete method and the UI of the request is like this uh, with the ID of uh, the product at the end of the path and the server returns respond HTTP 200 uh, if the product uh, has been deleted successfully or HTTP uh, 304 uh, if, if the product not uh, found so the uh, request uh, result in uh, result not modified ok go back to our Eclipse IDE And why we use a delete uh, notation mm, but a notation and public response delete but para. ID in teaser ID and we call the DAO method uh, if DAO delete ID is true that means successful then we return uh, response uh, with uh, HTTP uh, OK status okay uh, or else we return HTTP status not modify return response not modify view so that's very simple save the file and wait for the server to deload the changes okay and now we can test Using the CURL uh, program, CURL uh, V robust and X method delete, and the URL is HTTP localhost my website rest uh, products and the ID ID of the product. Uh, but first, I want to list all the products. You can see there are two products, ID1 and ID2 here. And now I want to delete the product ID2. If we 
limit enter mm, sorry mm. the server return status 405 because I forgot to specify the ID of the product here so I want to leave it the product ID 2 enter and you can see the response from server HTTP uh, status 200 here that means the product has been deleted and run this command to check you can see there's now only the product ID 1 the product ID 2 has been has been removed very good right and let's try to delete uh, product which uh, doesn't exist here product ID 4 and you can see the server return at the DV status uh, 304 which means uh, which is just not modified so that's uh, we have done coding the RESTful uh, web services for CRUD API as you can see here in the Java code here and we use uh, CER program to test and finally I will show you how to code a RESTful web service client program to consume the CRUD API exposed by the server so we mm, create a new project in our workspace find new Maven project and check this option to create a simple project next and enter the group ID is net.codejava.us artifact ID is product clan finished okay the second product got created here and I update the Java version yeah, I use uh, ZDK 11 okay And to develop a ZZ clan program, a RESTful web service clan program using ZZ API, we need to update the bomb.xml file to use ZZ clan API. Dependencies. The first dependency is for ZZ clan API. The group ID is org.lastfish.lazy.com and artifact ID is lazy-clan and version is 2.29.1 and the second dimension is for the Zazi injection library so we change the group ID to org.glassfish.zg.inject and artifact ID is the G hyphen SK2 same version and uh, the third dependency we need to use is for the uh, transaction library so we can copy the uh, you can see from the um, server project here paste save the file and uh, you can see I'm even uh, download all the, the file requires for the zclan API and the z inject and the uh, lesson and in the last uh, dependency we need to use the for the Java API for HTML body dependencies 
the root ID is org dot rustfish dot org rustfish dot jasp which uh, which means Java API for XML binding. Artifact ID ZISB hyphen runtime. And we use the version 2.3.2. Okay, save the file. And you can see the Java. API for XML binding runtime here. And uh, let's create a Java package here. New package net dot code Java dot client finish and create a new Java class here. Class name is yeah, product clan. Check this option to uh, create the main method and finish. Here we go. The clan is a console program. So first we need to define the base. Yeah. UI for the rest of our services private static string base UI equal to so we can uh, copy the UI here paste okay And first, we create a client config object. Config equal new client config. And we create a client object. Client builder. New client. With the config object. And we create a web target object from the clan web target web target or simply target equal clan target UI. Okay. Now let's test the uh, uh, list uh, products API first. So we call target uh, request and specify the uh, accept uh, content type is uh, media type uh, application JSON. Media type. We need to use media type from from Zosi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, application JSON. And Perform a REST request and the response we convert to string. String dot class string response equal. Save. 
This should be base UI. Okay, so that's for the code to test RESTful web service the list method, list API. Okay, let's run this program. Run as an uh, application. And you can see in the console view it uh, prints uh, the content of the product list on the server and because uh, previously we delete uh, a product so oh, now there's only one product uh, iPhone uh, 1 here yeah. okay So that's our restful uh, client program uh, has run successfully to call the uh, restful web service API to list all products. Okay, next, uh, last, uh, I call to test the get a method, get a single product method so we need to refactor this code a little bit to reuse so okay we move this code to a static method, static web target. This method return a web target. Get web target. So this method can be reused by other methods in this class. Okay. Yeah, the first method we need to test is uh, test list. So we move this code to test list and let the uh, web does it. Web does it. Does it equal let web does it. Okay. And the first method test list here. And now let's write code for the second test method to test get a particular product based on uh, ID. So static void test get uh, web target uh, equal get web target. And uh, product ID is example uh, ID one. And we construct con append the product uh, ID to the end of the UI. So we need to use the part method here. Part product ID. And then we make a request. And specify the accept media type is application JSON. Media type dot application JSON. And we fire a red request to the server. And now we need to convert the JSON to a product object. So we specify the uh, product class here. But in the current project, we haven't uh, created the domain model class product. So we copy the product. Uh, class from the server project here. See, copy and paste here to the client project. Okay, okay, here we go. And now we can use a um, product dot class here 
and this uh, return a product object product and um, finally we print the information about the product here yeah. mm, we uh, Uh, generate the two string method in the product class here yeah, to uh, sorry generate the two string method here yeah. so generate two string okay generate okay so print the uh, product object we print the uh, this information ID name and price okay now we can uh, go test and get here mm. and now let's uh, run this program the product line And you can see the first line is a result of the first request to list all products, and the second line is a output of the call to get a particular product with ID one. And let's try to edit the ID which you know, does not exist, and run again. This time we got an error. Not far exception here. Because the product ID 2 doesn't exist. And uh, next, uh, let's uh, write code for a new method to test uh, adding a new product. Static. Run test at we can copy this line and create a new product to be an object to be sent to the server product equal new product Uh, we need uh, to have another constructor for the product class that takes all his name and price. So copy and modify here. This method uh, takes only name and price of a new product, not ID. And here. We create a new product object with name and price only. For example, then phone X and price is uh, 879. Uh, okay. And then we call target. Uh, request uh, post now oh. the post method we send a HTTP post to uh, create a new product and um, we pass the entity which is uh, product object Contact and media type is application JSON. Media type uh, application JSON. And finally, we uh, get the response. Sorry, we can get the response. Right here, mm, 
one here response the response is an instance of the response class response not class yeah response okay and we print out the response response okay and uh, we call uh, test add here and then we call test list to verify and now let's run this program and in the console view you can see uh, before we have only one product and after uh, we call the create API uh, now there are two products here uh, Barack ID2 is then for next price uh, here you see very good right uh, you can uh, uh, print the uh, uh, location to the string and now we test with uh, next product is uh, for example high glass uh, 99.99 and uh, run this program again and you can see now uh, it uh, prints the UI of the newly uh, uh, created product here you can see and you can see uh, the UI uh, and with the ID Three, which is the ID of the newly created product, and you can see the product ID three here. We can verify by running a test in Chrome, and you can see here uh, there are uh, three products here. I last is the latest one with ID three. Very good, right? Next, uh, let's right go to test update uh, product uh, to call the RESTful uh, web service ABI to update the product. It is similar to um, test add, so we can copy this method. Change the method name to test update and uh, then uh, to update the product uh, with ID 1. String mm, product ID equal 1. And we want to update the product uh, ID 1 name to iPhone. Uh, I start and try is just nine by ninety nine. Does it not request? And instead of post, we use put. Put ATP put method and we append the path product ID to the end of the UI. Product ID, okay. and then we create the request and specify the boot uh, method, and this it returns a response object, and you can print the response object here. Okay. And in the main method, we run test update. Test update. Now, we'll run this program.
here we go and you can see before we have the product uh, id1 name iphone x then after update we have the name iphone xx and the price change from uh, 999.99 .99 to just 9.99 very good right and you can see in the uh, content of the response object the http stated uh, 200 yeah okay uh, change the test update method to update the product id which uh, doesn't exist um, and you see um, so respawn object here and you see the stated uh, 304 yeah uh, which mean not modify yeah very good right and finally uh, let's write code to test the rest phone uh, web service api for deleting a product so clearly method yeah static y test delete We did uh, the product ID one. Response response equal. Does it specify append the uh, product ID to the uh, UI and uh, we make a request and call delete to issue to fire ATPT delete request and specify the respond return time will be a respond class okay and print out the content of the response object okay and update the main method here to go test delete test delete now let's run this program and you can see in the console view here before we have mm, three products and after delete we have only two products Genphone and iGlass the first product ID1 has been uh, removed successfully and you can see the content of the response here. It is visited uh, 200, which means okay. And let's try to um, test the little product which doesn't exist. For example, product 19 here. And run the program again. And you can see the. Uh, Data on the server remains unchanged, and in the response object, it been uh, status yeah. HTTP status here 304, which means uh, not modify. So we have done a coding uh, a client program to uh, test to consume uh, RESTful's uh, API for cloud operations. Congratulations, you have done a video tutorial for Java RESTful Web Service and CRUD API. Uh, click the subscribe button below to uh, get more updates uh, about my Java programming uh, videos. Thank you for watching.